Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's a big day, huh, for Lompoc. Uh, my name's Carson Link. I was born and raised uh, in this town, uh, and I understand uh, how uh, awesome today is for uh, taking the steps forward to open this shuttered theater. Um, I work for the state senator, Monique Lamone, uh, and I would like to uh, invite her up here to start this event off uh, as we... Um, <laughs> finally get to start working towards opening up this beautiful theater. Good morning, everybody. This is a good and happy day here in Lompoc, in Santa Barbara County, and along the Central Coast. I'm Senator Monique Limon, and it is an honor to be here with you all today. Three years ago, when COVID hit, we started talking quite a bit about the future of our theaters, the future of performing arts, of live performances. And that was a difficult time, but I remember the community getting together in Santa Barbara County along the Central Coast to work with legislators on what we could do to ensure that the arts, that theater, that live performances thrived in that moment, but also in the future. We convened groups online of different stakeholders in the arts and had conversations. We tried to pass legislation and policies around executive orders to help support the arts then. But we also talked a lot about grant opportunities and funding that were gonna be critical in that moment to allow the arts and our theaters and live performing arts to be able to survive. Those three years were really the start of my commitment to ensuring that along the Central Coast, we didn't forget that the arts are critical. And I've reflected quite a bit as a local who was born in the county, born and raised in this county, about my ex first exposures to theaters and arts and community. And they have been through venues that welcome the community. I didn't grow up going to a theater, going to performances. Those were all opportunities that were provided for me through our schools. And that's exactly what I hope this investment, this state investment is for our community. An opportunity for those that may not have everyday exposure to, cre to create an exposure to the arts and to the theater performances. You see, the theaters are an incredible space to gather. And we gather to celebrate and uplift our performers, our artists, and the space, but they also serve for so many as a general place to uplift community members. I think of how many times I've been in a theater handing out certificates to recognize students, families, and the work. And here in Lompoc, we get to reaffirm our community investment to see the Lompoc Theater lift and also thrive in this community. We get to say yes to future investments of energy, of enthusiasm, of convening for our Lompoc community. And that's why I'm so excited that today is a community effort. Many of us here, both on stage and not on stage at the moment, have come to the same path and outcome. Although maybe our path was different to how we put this as a priority for our community. I've been working for the last three years, was so grateful that we saw a community investment in Guadalupe last year, and there's one more surprise coming to the Central Coast for theaters next month. But many of us have played a different role in how we got here. We all share our commitment and desire to see our Lompoc Theater thrive. We all share that same commitment and desire to uplift our Lompoc community. We all share that same desire and enthusiasm for wanting to be part of those things that make us all light up. 
This is going to physically light up the community, but it will also light up the spirit of so many people that have contributed to ensuring that today happens. We have done this collectively. And there's a lot of history to the theater since 1927. But today, uh, I, I really wanted to share what this moment means for me, what I think it will mean for our community, and acknowledge that so many individuals helped us get here today. Sure, Assemblymember Greg Hart and I are going to present to you what we both did collectively at the state level uh, to ensure this happens, and it is a very exciting check presentation that will make you all smile. Um, but it is also about the collective work that every single person has done to get us here. So with that, I would like to welcome Assemblymember Greg Hart. Well, Senator Lamone did a wonderful job of speaking uh, from her heart about how important culture and arts are to our communities. And this is a really special day. I'm very proud to have worked with Senator Lamone to secure this really critical funding for this fabulous project um, to really kickstart the Lompoc Theater renovation. And when I visited earlier this year with Mark Harrier and Supervisor Hartman, Chairman Kahn, and Councilmember Ball, I became infected with the enthusiasm that they had for this wonderful project. I personally lived in Lompoc first couple of years of my life, and I was talking to my mother, who's 93 years old, last night about this project, and she said, do you realize the very first movie that you ever saw was here in this theater? Um, it was the Mary Poppins production of Walt Disney, which I think is serendipitous about um, this moment. Um, this is such an amazing building that has such an incredible future. Mark Harrier has really well said that this theater will rise, and we are here today to make, help make that happen. And the funding that we're able to bring together, Senator Lamone and I working um, with the state legislature, will really help jumpstart that effort that's really important and provide this region with the world-class cultural art center that it deserves. Lompoc deserves a renovated um, theater that's a world-class facility. Along with the artistic and cultural benefits that come along with a the theater like this, there are significant um, economic benefits, too, to the city of Lompoc. This will help revitalize downtown. It will bring people to the businesses and the restaurants in this neighborhood, and that's really good for everybody in the community. Um, as a lifelong supporter of the arts, I'm really proud to represent our community on the Assembly's Arts, Entertainment, Sports, and Tourism Committee, and committee and from that vantage point I recognize really the critical role that arts institutions play in our community and our state's economy. Um, a continued team effort will be needed to get this project to the finish line. There are so many hands that have been working for, for really more than a decade to pull this project off and we're going to need everybody's commitment and energy to make this successful going forward. I want to thank again Senator Lamone for her leadership. Uh, Supervisor Hartman for really being an inspirational motivator to all of us to pull the local government and state representatives together to help fund this project. Uh, Mark Harrier, who is really the Mary Poppins of this effort. Um, Councilmember Ball, Mayor Osborne, Chairman Kahn, and everybody else that's been involved in this project. I'm really excited for the moment in the not too distant future, hopefully, that we can all uh, gather again for opening night. And I have the distinct pleasure of introducing Mark Harrier, the Lompoc Theater Executive Director. <laughs> this is a big day. Um, those of you out there probably all have heard me speak before and know I tend to become quite evangelical and emotional when talking about the theater. Uh, today will be that on steroids. Um, I've been trying to think how to say thank you, Senator Lamone. Um, I'm already starting. 
uh, it's, it's hard to quantify just what this means to us. Um, it changes everything. It, for the first time, enables me to say that I am confident that we will be able to reopen this theater in time for its 100th birthday on May 27th, 19, or 2027. I, I really do feel we can do that. And as you said, this changes everything. This is about this community. It's hard to say that what this does, it, it's a giant leap forward for the 75,000 people who live within 15 minutes of the stage, who right now in the city of Arts and Flowers does not have a single art culture center to celebrate it. This changes that. This is a giant leap forward to all of the citizens of this town who have been just hungering for this to happen for so long. Uh, many of you are in the audience today. Many of you from the beginning thought, is this really going to happen? Today, the answer is yes. I don't know, I don't know how to thank you. We have your name on the marquee. Uh, it will uh, be there periodically for the next year so that everybody in town knows just what happened here today and what it means for the future of this city. Um, the assemblyman is, is very right. There is an economic impact. And I applaud the state of California. Thank you, Governor Newsom. Thank you, everyone, um, for acknowledging that art isn't just about the soul. It's about economics. And any place in this state, in this country, in the entire world, any time you renovate a historic theater, it immediately changes the economy forever. Estimates are that the day that these doors open, they'll be generating $4 million a year to start with. That's, that's money this town needs, that's money this town can use. Um, which means it's a big day for the city of Lompoc. Um, this grant is not just for us, but by extension, the city is going to benefit it. Not just its, its um, uh, populace, but the economy as well. We have with us today our uh, mayor, Janelle Osborne. Uh, she used to be a board member and uh, helped us negotiate with the state where we got liens removed. She was a big part in helping us get to where we are today. We have with us Councilman Jeremy Ball. This ha theater, this institution happens to reside in his district and he has supported us long before he was a council member. All of the beautiful photographs that you see on our website and our materials, they were taken by Jeremy and he's become an advocate for us. And if that wasn't enough, his wife is a former board member who was indispensable to us for many, many years. So they're both here today, so thank you. It's a big day. Uh, it's a big day for government because, let's be honest, politicians get a bad rap. It doesn't matter what side of the aisle they're on. They're vilified by someone, and generally in person, where they show up to events to support us, and there's always going to be someone saying, why? Nah, 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 nah. So I'm sure today is some of the reason you got into politics is so you could do this. So we can't thank you enough for what you have done. <clears throat> the, the designation of Old Town Lompoc is just a designation, but thanks to you, it will now become a destination. There's uh, another person it's a big day for, and that is uh, our supervisor, Joan Hartman. Uh, redistricting is quite a controversial thing normally, but for Lompoc, it was quite literally a godsend. Um, Joan Hartman is here all the time. I think she should just live here. And um, uh, she came to me immediately when she became to represent us and uh, asked wanted to know and discover this, and thankfully she fell in love with this theater as much as I did. And since that time, you have been our biggest advocate, and it was, she and I planned a series of events last year uh, that uh, her reputation and her skill set brought these two esteemed 
assembly members and uh, the Shumash and some foundations and lots of people in a series of events and a year later, here we are. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's a big day for the Lompoc Theater Project. Um, there are founding members in the audience. Please raise your hand. You started this darn thing. Jack and Michelle. And anyway, thank you. There are also present and past board members. And without their unwavering efforts and hours and hours and thousands of dollars of pro bono work and commitment, we would have never got this far. So this is a big day for us. Uh, Barbara Satterfield, our board president, and myself. <laughs> we start our 11th year working on this project uh, this month. And our first year together, we were able to raise $1,800. <laughs> and then the next year, it was doubled, more than doubled, to $4,000. So where we started to where we are, it's just, it's just almost impossible to comprehend. Uh, this is a big day. And it's a big day for our donors. Uh, many of them are here. Um, if you want to know how much this town wants this to happen, we, our donors list now is over 5,000 people, individual donors, and 99% of them are $100 or less. It, it's it's mind-boggling. And we've raised almost $600,000 to date uh, just on our own. Um, it's gone to the phase one where we're able to sit in this building right now. We couldn't even get into it because of all of the guano that was on the floor. Um, it's, it's a brand new world in that regard. But this is for those donors. It shows how much the town wants this. It shows how much the town needs this. And it shows how much we could not do this without your help. So God bless you. Um, And finally, it's a big day for the people. Here I go. Uh, I brought this just in case. The, the people of this town, they, uh, they do all the heavy lifting in this county. Proud blue collar town, hardworking forever. Um, they deserve this theater. We are now the only venue in this county that does not have its own arts theater. And thanks to you all, that is about to change. And it's a big day for their kids. Uh, I was inspired by this building and, and the, the collective, as you discussed, there's nothing like seeing art collectively. It's a communal experience. It builds community. It builds your soul. And these kids will now have an opportunity to experience that as I did as a boy. You, we're, we're going to, thanks to this money, we're going to be able to build a new audience for the theater. All of the kids in the elementary schools are gonna come here and be blown away. Sarah Bartell, who played piano, her high school, she's keeping drama alive at the high school. Both Cabrillo and, and Lompoc High Schools, all the middle schools, all of the elementary schools, this will be their home. They will see acts and movies and events here that will literally transform them, literally change their lives. And whether or not they, whether or not they choose to be in the career, have a career like I did, they will be advocates for the theater for the rest of their lives. They will be the theater goers, goers that we need to, to keep the greatest institution that mankind has ever created, the arts, alive going forward. So thank you, thank you. Um, I just have one minor problem. Our, uh, our motto, our anthem, since we started is this theater will rise again. You, you mentioned it, but, and it's saying, to, it's talking to me now. Um, 
but that 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 anthem is uh, no longer applicable. It's it's in fact become obsolete because after this check, this theater is rising. Thank you. And we're going to get a check now. So everyone, this is the moment that you have all been waiting for. I'm going to actually move this a little bit back. Um, and I'm going to ask our mayor uh, to come up and also Councilmember Ball to come up if you have Whoops. a second. All the way back? Yeah, right. 